like thinking I was ready to date again, but then I remembered, you know, the long replies, the change in energy, the lack of kisses when he usually put three in now, we just put in two. The liking of other girls' Instagram pictures, the liking of other girls' Instagram stories that you can't even see. <laughs> what else? <laughs> the arguments. The I'm going on a night out with the boys and he's not in your man yet so you can't feel any type of way about it But you know you're gonna feel some type of way about it. Oh, I bumped into my ex. Oh, that one. That one hurts. A whole lack of trust We were texting last night and he went to sleep and didn't say goodnight or he didn't say good morning He always says good morning. <laughs> Him leaving me undelivered all of a sudden for 12 hours The interest that they have at you in the beginning then it just goes one day Oh, I don't know if I'm dating ever again. <laughs> I don't know if I can do any of that. Or how about that one ex that he's just not over? Um, I don't think I can do it <laughs> I politely decline. I have um I've decided to send a breakup text to my boyfriend because he hasn't spoken to me since Thursday night and today is Saturday and we were meant to be seeing each other today and obviously I would have preferred to have done this in person but he's ghosted me so has left me with no choice. Um it's sad. I'm obviously really gutted because I thought this was going to go really well and this is not how I envisioned it going and this is not how I envisioned my Mercury retrograde going but sometimes I think it's important to put yourself and um, yourself first. I'm not going to get upset. Um... I think I summed it up perfectly to my mum. I was like, I love him, but I love me and what I do more. And he is just not the man I thought he was. So bear with me <laughs> whilst I get through this. But obviously 99% of my life is shared online, so... I thought I should let you know because I was getting a lot of questions on live asking how we were this morning and obviously the answer is not great. So, here's the answer now. And, um, yeah, thank you for inevitably being there for me because I know you will. Where are the men who would wake up just so they could be the man who wakes up next to you? Well, I'm sorry to have to break it to you, but those men, they've already woken up and they've left. Because you see, men have now realized there's no real benefit to waking up next to you. We've seen that while you demand, demand, demand things from us, you offer little to nothing in return. At least not anything we can't already get without involving ourselves in a relationship with you. And on top of that, for decades now, y'all told us you didn't want us. Y'all told us you didn't need us. We heard you. And now we're off making a better life for ourselves. One that doesn't involve you. Would we like to have a great relationship? Sure, who wouldn't? But men have finally figured out that the risk simply isn't worth the reward anymore. And now that you guys are figured out that we figured it out, well, now you're wondering, where did all the men go? Women often want men to meet the expectations of things they hear in songs, or see in the movies. As I frequently call it, they're searching for that perfect Disneyland prince, the one that doesn't actually exist, but yet they all think does and that they deserve. Men see it for what it is, an expectation of perfection, something no one can achieve. And knowing that, why would they enter into a relationship with someone who expects that of them? Someone who actually believes a man should walk 500, 1,000, even a million miles just to be with them. Men are done playing these silly little games, ladies. Life is not a rom-com or some romantic song. Life is, well, life. And the completely unrealistic expectations that you've all set now, oh wait, sorry, the higher standards, have reached a level of absurdity that men look at it and go, yeah, no more, we're done. Especially when they realize that they're not gonna get anything in return no matter how hard they work to woo you over. Where are they at? Well, to wrap this up, where they're at is sitting home or hanging out with their buds, playing video games, playing guitar, enjoying life. No longer having to deal with the drama, no longer having to deal with the financial drain of expensive dates, only to get ghosted shortly thereafter. No longer dealing with the ridiculous expectations, oh sorry, higher standards that you've all set. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, but men didn't create this situation. You did. But men have now seen it for what it is, and they're done and walking away. And the really sad part is, they ain't coming back anytime soon. Facts. You're 
goddamn right.